Here is an interesting application question. Using quadratic equations, we can solve this question. The question here is, the three sides of a triangle are consecutive, even integers. What is the length of each side? When we say consecutive, even, it means the sides could be x, x plus 2. And I prefer to take the value as x minus 2. You know, it helps. They are also consecutive even. We could say that the numbers are 4, 6 and 8. We could also say it is 4, 6 and 2, right? So you could use x, x plus 2, x plus 4 also. But I prefer this, okay? Now, these are sides of, um, three sides of triangle with consecutive even integers. What is the, so what kind of triangle it is? So let us assume that this triangle is a right triangle to start with, since we do not really have any other correlation. So we'll assume it could be any triangle. We'll assume for the time being that this is a right triangle. And then check if we can get some value, right? So longest side is x plus 2. So let me write x plus 2 on this side. And we have one leg as x, the other one as x minus 2. Now, we are assuming it to be a right triangle. It could be any triangle, right? So let us say that is the triangle. Then in that case, we have x squared plus x minus 2 whole square should be equals to x plus 2 whole square. I think the typing error is there. So three sides of a right triangle. Let me add this. Are consecutive even integers. What is the length of each side? Let's work out this problem, right? So let's expand this, we get x squared, plus when you expand this, we get x squared minus 2ab, which is 4x, plus 2 squared, which is 4. On the right side, we get x squared plus 4x plus 4, right? Bringing all the terms together, this is 2x squared take away, or let, let me just write them all together. So we have 2x squared minus 4x plus 4. Now we'll bring these terms minus minus of 4x minus 4 equals to 0. So from here, you can say this combines to give you x squared. Minus 4x and minus 4x is minus 8x. And plus 4 minus 4 is 0 equals to 0. Now we can factor x. And so we get x minus 8 equals to 0. That means we have two solutions, right? So either x is equals to 0 or x is equals to 8. Now, x equals to 0 is not valid, right? That is not valid. So, this is the correct option. So, if x is 8, then the numbers are 8. 8 plus 2 is 10 and 8 minus 2 is 6, correct? So, we say, therefore, the sides are 6, 8 and 10 units. So that is how we can solve this. So I think you should make this correction here. The three sides of a right triangle are consecutive even integers. What is the length of each side? And then solve as we have done. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.